This is Molly. She's our family's seven-year-old dachshund, adopted in 2011. She was only two months old when we brought her home. In the first week of January 2015, Molly became paralyzed within a matter of 48 hours. Her vet diagnosed her with a ruptured disc, or IVD, intervertebral disc disease, and the only option was to either perform surgery or put her down. The surgery would be very invasive and promised little success. However, the silver lining in the diagnosis was that she was in no pain. So when did it happen, Sam? When did she she lose her, uh, her so, feeling? Mom said that on New Year's Eve, going from 2014 to 2015, that was the last time I saw her running around and jumping. And she was, she's active, jumping, going crazy. Yeah. And then mom said they went out for New Year's. I went out and um, I was gone. And she, they said when they, when they came back, she was kind of acting like spooked and like kind of just not acting like she was like in pain, but like more like she was sick internally mm. or something. Yeah. And then, uh, so I came the next day, she was acting like that on the first, and then on the second, she was dragging around and stuff. Her mom took her to her, uh, her regular vet, and they uh, referred her to like the specialist, and we went to the specialist, and the specialist was the one that said that it was a, uh, a ruptured disc. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, and the, the specialist was kind of, uh, I don't want to say encouraging us, but kind of like, if we don't get the surgery, then encouraging us to put it down. We were devastated with this diagnosis, but couldn't bear the thought of putting her down. We didn't have the financial resources to pay for an expensive surgery, so we decided to take a more holistic approach to her healing and tried acupuncture for a few months. Started being paralyzed on the 2nd, and then on the 12th is when uh, her first acupuncture treatment was. And then we would take her like, I want to say maybe every three weeks or once a month or something. We took yeah. her like four times. and. Got her through two cycles of like herbal meds, and uh, it was good for her, you know. Uh, it kind of stimulated her um, her uh, her toes and stuff, and uh, I learned some good techniques to uh -huh. through the doctor uh, how to like exercise her at home and you know uh, get her uh, her hind legs to like. Uh, stimulate a little bit. Mm -hmm. it, it just cost but then a lot, that was yeah. just that was really just to get her moving, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean we honestly we kept doing it. We she might still be like walking, but just at the time, you know, it was very expensive. And, mm. You know, every every two weeks, you know, a couple hundred bucks. So it just started to add up. So we we just kind of so accepted, accepted our fate. As, we accepted her as is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we kept her until seven years later. Here we are. Okay, come on, take a walk. This one. Look, I remember sitting here. We had no success with the treatment, and financially exhausted, we decided to just let Molly be Molly, and purchased a wheelchair for her from Dogs to Go at dogstogo.net, so that she might be a little bit more mobile. On December 20th, 2018, the NBC affiliate KPRC reported on a promising stem cell treatment being performed at the Safari Animal Care Center in League City, Texas, and 30 minutes from our home, that has reverse paralysis in 60 out of 100 dachshunds. We had already resigned ourselves to Molly living without the use of her two hind legs, but this new information has brought us hope that she might be able to walk again.
summer. Uh, and, and even, you know, her upper body strength is incredible. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have muscles in your muscles up here. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, okay. So other than that, we just kind of wanted to just, just kind of get Dr. Goddard yeah, to, to see what meet he her, thinks. just to kind of yeah. see what he thinks. I've always wondered. Okay. And I had heard about these stem cell trials in the UK, but when I saw it on Channel 2, I was like, oh my God, Lisa, yeah, yeah, we're we, going. We had some pretty good success with That's awesome. Okay. Um, well, her temperature is normal, 10.8 pounds, just in case. Okay. Okay, let me go put all these in and then as soon as I've got the doctor available, we'll do that. I think he's in the middle of the room. Take your time, we're in no okay. hurry. Thank, Thank you so much. Molly was seen by Dr. Stephen Garner at the Safari Animal Care Center on December 29th, 2018. And we are hoping for a miracle. If we can raise the funds for the stem cell treatment and post-procedure physical therapy, the treatment is an intensive six-week regimen and as you can imagine, very expensive at $6,000 plus. We hope that with your help, Molly will be able to get a second chance and walk again. So please consider donating to Molly's GoFundMe page in hopes that Molly can have a miracle. Thank you. <laughs>